And so, the war with England begins. Welcome connoisseurs of Crusader Kings 3, friends of the channel and newcomers alike. We are playing Duke Artgar of Cornwall. We have declared independence against England. Our patient young Duke has seen the chance to strike like a wolf spider in its den. The King of England is pressed into two wars. One, tyranny war. I believe this is a tyranny war. It's a liberty war. <laughs> one liberty war and one holy war for the earldom of a Lincolnshire, Lincolnshire, which I'm pretty sure is his war. Yeah, it's his war. So in the midst of his two wars, we saw that he was weak and that it was time to strike. And so we have called our allies in. Our swift messengers to our uncle, Duke Renard, the merciful, got him to join us in the war before the King of England could request aid from his liege. And so we shall go. We have also got the aid of Brittany, as we always do. And now we shall fight. So where are we going to do this? I want to take his capital, but I don't want to fight his enemies. Maybe if I raise my armies here, they'll back off. Hopefully. I think my allies will probably come down and deal with this instead of me. Let's see what happens. Will they back off if I raise my armies? While I have absolutely no compunction against attacking the Norsemen if they get in my way, I would prefer not to destroy the armies of the rebels because uh, I don't really consider them to be my enemies. We actually have something in common. A dislike for being vassals under the current King of England. Some of them backed off because I raised my armies. Some of them have decided, nah, you know what? <laughs> this be ours. <laughs> so we're going to have to fight a quick fight against an army that we had no desire to fight. Oh, we are now known as the good. My liege, have you heard what they call you? My courtier Ciro says to me while shuffling from foot to foot. They call you Duke Artgar the good spectacular is it not it's on the lips of the peasants and noble of peasant and noble alike a cause for celebration i think here here uh, there is a deer in portsmouth which we will probably take advantage of when the time is right do not like the fact that we had to engage in this but uh we want to be the ones responsible for taking the capital uh alan Wants to end our rivalry? Yes, let us. Absolutely. Let us. Uh, if there's anything else... No, let's not waste any more time. To be honest, I still believe there's a pretty significant chance that Alan tried to have us killed. But because he's come to us asking for peace, I'm going to just accept, because of my forgiving nature, that I never need to know. If I ever find out, I may react to it then. But for now, I do not need to know. We're going to siege this down. Uh, there's a fight down here. It appears that uh, that fight was won by England. This is Brittany coming for aid. And now we have Rowan joining us as well. Let's get these sieges done. They are the most important part of this whole thing. There is... I'm going to... I'm going to probably clear this. I think I can afford to do that with my ally nearby. It'll probably defend me. So I'm going to leave besiegers behind. If we're just going to... Clear away this rabble. Who is this? Of course it's Norseman. It's always Norseman. He's from the Dane law. Yeah. You know, eventually I'll probably let him out of prison because I let everybody out of prison, but he can rot there until the war is over, at least. Uh, this is going to turn out bad. Oh, another son. They've named him after me. He is also, he's also comely like his mom, but no, his name is going to be... I think we're going to name him Dunmarth. Yeah. May you grow to be strong and wise, my son. 
Two sons. Two young sons. Brothers. Burkat and Dumnarth. So I'm going to leave here because I actually do not want to attack the other army uh, when it leaves. I have no desire to do them any real damage. They're not really part of my war, to be honest. Uh, but I will come down here and clear this siege because, again, uh, my war with my king does not give these rebels the right to, uh, <laughs> to siege my territory. So they can, uh, they can get the hell out of here, because that's how it works. Unless they want to face my swords. Gonna have to come back this way. Hopefully he doesn't get any ideas up here. Wait, he won? That's annoying. I really didn't think he would. How did he win? <laughs> how did he win? That's annoying. He better hope he makes it to the sea. Because <laughs> uh, we will chase him down. None of this stuff should be threatening my besiegers, so my besiegers will move in further. The question is, is he going to stop to try to do more? Oh, sweet little lies. That means that he is charming, and charming is... Diplomacy and You know, I'm not a terrible diplomat. But I'm not yet a pedagogue. I'm still gonna have to think about this. Do we have someone better as a guardian for him? She's Franconian. She's Breton. We could also try to hire him a guardian if we have to. Let's let's let this wait. He's still three. We still got years of time to decide. If he stops to try to raid, then we'll catch him for sure. Eh, I don't like this. We're going to have to let him go. It's not worth risking our war. Centralization. Check. That should help Oxfordshire out. It's a little annoying, but there's not much we can do about it. Let's go up here to this and see where we're at here. This is almost done, so I guess we're going to Gloucester next. Of the map. Oh, this idiot belongs in my dungeons. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Yeah. We're not going to do the, the gamey trick of putting out our dungeon to make him a, a warrior, because that doesn't make any sense for this character at all. We'll just thank him for, uh, for bringing it to our attention and send him off on his way. There's not much of the King of England's army about anymore. Yeah, so we'll uh, just keep on our sieges. We appear to be winning this quite handily, to be honest. Oh, that's not us. Yeah, that is us. Yeah, of course, this is us against it. Oh, the old king, Alan, has died. And Rialan has replaced him. Uh, he is... better? I mean, paranoid and lazy aren't that good, but he's compassionate. He's better. Like, every noble, it is expected of me that I be able to ride a horse both often and well. I could hardly administer Cornwall if I didn't, after all. Today's errand is a trivial task in rural Oxfordshire something. My entourage and I are best able to resolve quickly. And in person, without warning, my steed bucks spooked by some small animal on the trail. I'm almost thrown hard, only wrestling control back at the last moment. There's so much death now. <laughs> it's death around every corner. 
It's amazing that we didn't get many of those as the old man. He's quite lucky. We've already seen two... Two danger events. With our, uh, Young guy here already. The terracotta Fowl. We don't... We want... Uh, oh, that's still got 23 years left. We'll let that run a bit. Uh, Head of Faith. Nothing here matters. We're not... We're not gonna, um... If he heads into my territory, I swear. Um, does the King of England even have an army near here? If he doesn't have an army raised, I don't know where it is. I don't know. I'll let him continue that siege. And then we're gonna join up, and I think we'll win this. No, they'll turn away if I do that. So let's stop. No, they got off the siege anyway. Shoot. Shoot. It's not actually an army in our war. Unless there's hidden English troops underneath the stack. I'm gonna stop here. I probably should try to get rid of these raiders if they try to enter my territory. I don't know. It might just be a waste. But I do not want them to just raid around. I don't know what to do about the raiders. They're really not my problem. But I feel like I should do something about them. Aggressive attacker, reckless, and rough terrain expert. We're not on rough terrain though, are we? What are we on? This is farmlands, definitely not rough terrain. The only alternative really though is this guy who's only rec reckless. Yeah, there's no rough terrain anywhere near here. I stand my ground because that should make me the defender. My, I don't think my allies can support me against raiders. You know, this is probably a mistake. Usually when I make this kind of mistake, I end up regretting it. Oh, wait, what happened to him? Oh, he went into the river. <laughs> that's cute. That's a that's a cute plan. Uh, you think that's going to help? It's not going to help. We are easily going to catch him here for this completely unnecessary battle. I don't know what I... I just do not like the idea of barbarian raiders just wandering around the territory. My God, you kick... You... you... The Earl! Batoric! His head his head cut off. I inherited his realm. Okay, if this is a boy, I'm giving it back. Uh, we have no steward. Uh, this... This vassal and knight here, our friend. Make a good steward. Steward, um... Our spy master is not the steward he once was. He's probably getting old. So, I'm gonna put... Yeah, I'm gonna put him in. Man, that guy died in my battle with his head ripped off. That sucks. <laughs> this battle was unnecessary too. This is a little this is a battle of vanity. We should not have done this. Our knight killed one of them. We're gonna actually look at the outcome of this battle. It's pretty rare to do that, but uh, let's see, we'll look at the knights. That is the wrong battle. I can't see this battle until we actually finish it. Once we finish it, then we can see the right battle. I I always get ahead of myself. I always expect things to be finished before we get to him. Let's let's look down here. Okay. So, I mean, they're killing... That's the guy I killed him. Oh, yeah. We killed two of their guys. They killed one of ours. But the guys that we killed were pretty pathetic. And the guy that they killed is pretty important to our realm, being a vassal. And our steward. After this war, we really need to spend some time fixing our military because we have lost a lot of knights and... We have way too many 11s. We were previously in a better position, but it appears like we've got some some really bad guys down here at the bottom. So we're going to have to figure out some way to solve that too. Probably we'll gather some nice. We've got tons of money right now. Uh, we could just like, we're in the middle of a war, but we don't have to just focus on that like there's nothing else happening. All these raids. These raids are all happening because the King of England is just having his way. And we can't stop. I mean, he's just making everything go bad. So... I guess, I guess we're gonna have to fix that. We will now do what we said we were gonna do before and fix this. And change this over. The barracks. And then we're gonna change... Did we say we're gonna keep this? I think we're gonna keep this. Actually, no. I think we're gonna change it to tents. Eh, it sucks, but uh, changing it to tents is just better. So we'll do that. Got no time for tournaments or anything right now. 
We're being raided. Two prisoners we can ransom afterwards. Okay, we gotta finish the siege someplace for us to get out of this war. Oh, there it is. And we are now the independent petty king of Cornwall. Look at us. Look at us. Very good. Sadly, we lost that Earl. You know, he paid his tribute during the tour. He was a decent fellow, I think, and he was by far the best steward we had. Uh, let's see, can we find her? Um, Dorset, title history, him. It's his wife, let's, um, let's pin her so we don't have to keep looking. How long is it gonna be? For eight months? Wait, is she dead? I'm looking at her being dead. She actually died in an accident while pregnant. Oh, wow. That's, um... That is straight up a horrid, horrid outcome. I really don't know what to do or think about that. He died in a war, and then she died in an accident a short time afterwards. That's... That's really tragic. I don't even know who to give that title to now. We've been raided all up in here. This guy, uh... If he continues to try to raid us gonna raise our men at arms I think it'll be enough no I don't no I don't there's no point in even even taking the risk we might as well just we might as well just do this thing full out we're gonna get money from it anyway right hopefully get some money back from it all these raids this this is what this, this is this is the horrid barbarian tribesmen taking advantage of the fact that we are fighting in multiple wars at once they they all see us as weak right now like they think our domain is too 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 big for us to to handle because we have such wars but uh they will learn you know this isn't going to be tolerated anymore we're going to have a lot to say about the barbarians pretty soon i think there we go caught we've ransomed our prisoners they want me to found a kingdom in the traditional sense but there is no way we're doing that there are advantages to it, but we're not doing it. Okay, raiders are dead. And we will disband our troops. Take a second to look at our situation. So we have this territory to give out. Somehow she died in an accident, which is crazy that she died in an accident just a month before her husband just like just before it's actually kind of sad really um this is an anglo-saxon territory i don't know if i'm going to change this out i'll give it to a courtier but i prefer one that has a child this knight ethelbert is n Avon. We could give it to our acclaimed knight. Him? I mean, there's still a good chance he'll have a child, and he's more likely to have one if he gets landed. He's Breton. The fact he's Breton makes that a little questionable. I mean, oh, this guy, this guy's not very good, though. He's the guy we picked up on the road that we said wasn't very good. Right? Yeah. I don't think this guy can be trusted with Domain. Again, it's him. Ethelbert is still a good choice, but he's not going to have another child as a daughter. She's still young enough that he might have a child, but he's our caravan master, so we'll be, we'll be removing our caravan master again. This young woman, we should use her to marry somebody in. Do we have any... Do we have an Anglo-Saxon knight? 
we don't... I just don't have any good candidates that are Anglo-Saxon, and if I'm going to pick a candidate, I think it should be should be somebody who's done a lot of service for us, and uh, in spite of his original crimes, that, that uh, former peasant leader is a good choice, I think, maybe. <laughs> this is turning out to be a lot more complicated than I thought it would be. You know, I think we just, just should go with the acclaimed knight. We'll probably lose him from our knights, I think. Like, he won't be an acclaimed knight anymore, but what can you do? I think this will be fine. But he remains, he'll still fight for us. He's compassionate, he's diligent, he's brave. Yeah, I think he's the choice. I think that's what we do. Hopefully he has the sense to become Anglo-Saxon. But I'm going to leave that to him. Means that we lose him as our acclaimed knight, right? Oh no, he stayed our acclaimed knight. Why did they say we'd lose him? He stayed. We need to... Forbid these lower knights that aren't any good. Just, like, forbid all the lower knights so we can actually get an idea of how many knights we need. So if we forbid everyone who is 9 or worse, who is worse than 12, we can see we need 4. That's pretty rough. Uh, let's start with uh, marrying. We just married last time, but uh, we do have a new woman in the court who we can marry. Her. So let's find her a spouse. Again, we do it by prowess, but we're looking for people who are Anglo-Saxon. He's a little old, though. We're also going to include French because of our French connection that I completely forgot about. We have this guy. Okay, that, that seems fine. She can marry this Anglo-Saxon man. She's Anglo-Saxon herself, so that should be good. Sure, I clicked the, the matrilineal. Hopefully she doesn't run away. Good, he will become a knight for us then. And then we will use the summon knights because we have money right now. Actually, we haven't looked at prisoners yet. Ansel Anglo-Saxon Insular. I think we recruit him. Uh, he is above 12. He's... He's a good teacher for a, for somebody who wants to be Marshall. Very good Marshall teacher, but he's Anglo-Saxon. It's too bad he couldn't be uh, Breton or Lyonnais. We're going to also recruit him because 13 is above 12. And then we have this kid who I imagine someone will... Oh, no, you don't, you don't want him, do you? It's, it's, it's the namesake of your father. He's your brother. Just, you can go. Just go. I think that should almost clear out our knights aren't good enough problem. Good. Neither of them seemed to resent it. Also good. So our least good knight now is 13, which is the minimum acceptable. Well, 12. I consider 12 to be the minimum acceptable. That puts us in a lot of better position here. We're almost halfway to exalted among men. Oh, what a thing to see. How are these guys doing? Uh, you are still at, in your war with England, but... Oh. Haha. Uh -huh. Have you considered that England is no longer my liege? That is an interesting possibility. Do we just go to war again, right away? Take the coast of, of Wales while he's still in his struggle with England? It'd almost be like we're doing a favor to England. You know, after we broke away? That's... The question is, always, is this the right time? He has... An ally who's already in the war with England. He has a second ally who's already in the war with England. 
together, the three of them make about the same amount of military as I have without my ally. I could do this. But they will grow in power as the fight goes on. I mean, they won't, though, because England will keep hurting them. Two wars in a row feels like it's not the right time, but at the same time, it feels like, like, patient doesn't mean waiting forever for things. People think that. No, it means waiting until it's the right time. Is this the right time? We wouldn't, we wouldn't want to call Brittany in because we've been doing that too much and I actually want to hit the next, um, the next legacy perk pretty soon. Probably after my next grand tour, once that pops up again. Will there be a better time? The question is always, will there be a better time? That is the question for a patient man. Will there be a better time? We did make one of our goals liberating the the poor Welshmen who have been subjected to these barbarian raiders since our grandfather's early days. Forty years these barbarians have been controlling their territory. I mean, we are a much better ruler for the Welsh. We have like 94% cultural acceptance to the Welsh. I just don't believe there's going to be a better time. And because I don't believe there's going to be a better time? That means now is the time. So we immediately ask our head of faith for gold. The first time that's come up, we need to station our men at- Oh, jeez, what happened to our men at arms? Oh, we didn't even go over this. What? Oh, this is like super, super confusing. Uh, first of all, it, it doesn't mean I need to station everybody, right? We're going to just check that. I was confused for a second there and thought it meant station everybody. But I think my archers are still stationed. Yeah, they're still stationed. Oh, I'm just getting so paranoid because of weird things happening. Okay, I am 100% sure that I disbanded the pikemen. So if I disbanded the pikemen, where did these pikemen come from? <laughs> Who gave me pikemen? That's very strange. Uh, I don't know, maybe some event I missed happened? Is there an event that gives you a bunch of pikemen? Did, did, did someone like, did a, oh, 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 I, I inherited the territory of the dead Earl of Dorset. I bet he had pikemen. I bet these are his pikemen. You know, I'm just paranoid, so we're just going to click on this and make sure these are all still stationed properly. And of course they are. Good. So I have new pikemen. These aren't the old pikemen. These are the Earl of Dorset's pikemen. Problem solved. Everything makes sense now. We are going to station these guys for now, though, because we're going to use them in this upcoming war in spite of the fact their destiny is the same as their predecessors. We will disband them and turn them into Huskarls as soon as we have the money. We could do that now, but I think that money is preserved for other things at this time. All right. So I think we've solved all the mysteries of the troops and uh, we can now raise all of our guys and start our war to liberate the Welsh, the remaining barbarian subjugated Welsh and bring them into our fold. The other good thing about this is it will mean that we can create a second crown for our second son. Let's uh, raise all here. We do have the ability to get mercenaries if we need them. We have quite a bit of money right now. Especially since the Pope is about to send us a pile. So let's just do this. I don't think he's going to be able to stop us, to be honest. I think he's going to just have too much to deal with with England. That's basically the principle upon which this war is based. Okay. So did it just take a while for them to realize he couldn't be anymore? All right, let's... um. I guess it just took a minute for them to realize he couldn't do it. Is this guy... I'd prefer he was better than 13. Oh, Valiant Stalwart is better, though. And we didn't go down, which is good. We stayed... We stayed there, so that's good. Let's just do this thing. War. War with the Norse. Okay, that's what we expected. That is also what we expected. 
that gives him 3,000. Okay. That's... He has a total amount of men equal to us without our allies present, and we can always hire mercenaries. And with that, I think we're going to end this episode. Next time, we're going to take war to the Norsemen. Um, I did not expect this to happen right away, but I didn't expect this to be able to be happening right away. And like I said, I do not play... I do not play patient as slow. I play patient as waiting to the right time. And I can't imagine that this there's going to be a better time. Taking this away from them also will significantly weaken them. Uh, we have our ally who absolutely should be able to help us. It's coming again. Our uncle in Nustria. I just think this is the right time. He still has to try to win. He's still trying to win his war over here in England, which... I mean, he can't give up on it. If he gives up on it, he just won't ever win. Who is this? Oh, they have the King Louis in prison. That's that's not a thing. So next time we're going to be here and we're going to do the next war. Uh, it is very surprising for this young man to be doing multiple wars in a row, but I just don't see how it makes sense for him to wait. This was his intent. So he should fulfill his intent, right? I think so. I think that's right. I think we should go around, though, and spend a little bit of money here. We fixed that finally. You know... Actually, we're going to keep this money because I am going to buy me some brand new troops after this war, I think. We're going to disband this and we're going to finally buy our Huskarls. This will be fixed by then so they'll have a place to live. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Next time we will continue the life of now petty king odgar of cornwall before long if things go his way he'll become king the one good thing about this war is if he wins some battles in it he will get some of the prestige he needs which is great and i hope to see you when we return to the petty kingdom of cornwall goodbye for now <laughs>